KTK News is your local election headquarters. We are just eight days away from primary election day in Texas, and tonight we are highlighting the race for Texas House District 11, which includes portions of Russ County, as well as Nacogdoches, Shelby and Panola counties. KTK's Ashlyn Anderson spoke to the incumbent Travis Clardy today. She's here with the message from him to the voters in his district. Ashlyn. Casey, just last week, Governor Abbott made the trip to East Texas, attending a campaign rally for Clardy's challenger, Joanne Schaffner. But Clardy says the governor deciding to endorse his opponent doesn't hurt his campaign. I don't feel like I'm going to clear my name because people that know me and the folks I've represented for years, they know me. They know what I'm about. Texas House District 11 incumbent Travis Clardy heard the real issues people in his area are facing, adding he's consistently fought in Austin on their behalf. Go to the airport and the project, the expansion we did there and improving the FBO. Go to my former county, Cherokee County, the Rust State Hospital. For more than 10 years, Clardy says he's taken action to cut property taxes, promote public safety, and foster the growth of the public education system. And now we're a member of the UT system, which is $140 million being injected in the next four years into the Nacogdoches SFA community. Governor Abbott's plan to pass school choice for Texas parents has pushed Clardy towards the middle of the aisle. He says parental empowerment will hurt students and teachers in the public school system. In home building, whether it be in HVAC repair or electrici electricians, etc. And we have a number of pathways for this. And our kids love it. But that'll be the first thing to go. This issue divides the governor and Clardy. Party, but he says he's got to stay true to himself. If the price of his endorsement was for me to sell out the people I represent and sell out the teachers and school children in Texas, I'm, not, I'm unwilling to pay that price and I do not want his endorsement. Clardy says his top priorities include doing whatever it takes to secure the border, getting teacher pay raises, and accommodating to the growth of our state. Infrastructure is a huge need uh, in our state for our, for our cities and counties, for their road systems, water systems, sewage systems. You know, there are some real life problems we need to be dealing with. Clardy says he's confident his district will show up for him like he's shown up for them the past 10 years. K2K News has reached out to Joanne Schaffner's office to talk about her priorities on key issues and the impact Governor Abbott's endorsement on her campaign. We'll have that report later this week. In studio, Ashton Anderson, Casey, back to you.